I'm Gail C, Director of Teaching and Learning, and this week I want to talk about a professional learning opportunity that we had here in Doha recently. Uh, the NISA Fall Leadership Conference happened here October 20th to the 23rd. Um, NISA is our umbrella organization who supports us with professional learning um, and for us and for schools within the region. So we were very lucky that it was here in Doha this, this year. Uh, we were able to send a team of uh, our leadership team and some teacher leaders and we also for the first time sent three of our bo uh, school board uh, members. So um, let's listen to some of the snippets from some of the people who attended that and listen to their highlights. This past week, we uh, were able to host the NISA Fall Leadership Conference here in Doha for the first time. And it was really great to have about 500 educators and board members from around the region not only come to Doha, but also come out to the American School of Doha. Um, we had about 100 of those people on campus over the course of a couple of days to see the campus, to see how we do things, to take a look at our security measures, um, to kind of get a sense of what a, a really great school here in the region looks like and feels like and how we operate. Um, it was great to have NISA hosted here in Doha and I walked away with a really, really good feeling that uh, ASD is on the right track and a real leader in the NISA region and so it was great to have them here this this past week. A highlight of me from the NISA conference other than um, collaborating and touching base with with leaders of other places and friends that I'd worked with in the past had to have been Tara Reynolds and, and David Henderson's keynote on compassion as well as being present. I love their stories that they shared as well as how, how we can bring that bring that to the conscious level. Uh, Carolyn McAnders, as usual, was awesome with her, with her work on transitions, and I love the way that she broke those steps down, the, the three steps of, of dealing with transitions. Hi, I'm Anita Riley, and I was lucky to get to attend the Fall Leadership Conference uh, here in Doha this last weekend, and I had several highlights. Uh, Tom Shimmer, who is a speaker around the idea of assessment, was amazing and engaging and he really reaffirmed for me what we're doing here at ASD and our assessment practices. And also Joellen Killian, who talked about how we make sure that RPL is the best that it can be for the teachers and that their time is really being used well. And then finally, I got to the chance to meet with Michelle Coons from AS Dubai and we got to look at our social studies curriculum so that we know that we're doing the best not only here in Doha but in the region and working together with other schools is such a powerful experience. Uh, highlight for me at the recent NISA leadership conference was seeing Tom Schimmer. I uh, saw him for two things, building capacity within the school and assessment and evaluation. I think the latter, the assessment and evaluation, really confirmed for us um, that we are doing the right things uh, to support student learning uh, and the other one building capacity within the school I thought was really helpful for me as I work with team leaders um, developing things within the upper elementary and leading the division forward. At the NISA leadership conference that was held right here in Doha I think I would say my favorite sessions, the ones that I felt I benefited from were the ones run by Tom Schimmer, both. Um, one on building capacity within our divisions, with our faculty, looking at the emotional intelligence of leaders and how to tap into potential leadership and how to cultivate it, which I thought was really strong. Um, and another, assess uh, another workshop on assessment practices, which I enjoyed too. Networking with and learning from um, our like schools in the NISA region is a real highlight for me at the NISA Fall Leadership Conference. I get to meet with uh, a lot of the different people in the region that have the same responsibilities in their job as I do, um, and that is very, very worthwhile and very validating. Uh, one of the other highlights for me, I, I concentrated on a strand of uh, professional learning and evaluating professional learning. So I went to sessions from uh, Tom Gusky and Joe Allen Killian and uh, they were both learning learnings for me as well as validating. So that, that was the focus that, uh, that uh, I chose to, to attend. 
And a high moment for me at NISA was when Tom Shimmer talked about, um, have you heard people say, when am I ever gonna have time to teach? All I seem to do is assess. That means we're thinking about assessment as a noun instead of a verb. Teaching without assessment is just giving out information. Hi, I'm James and I was uh, privileged to be able to go to the leadership conference where there are a lot of outstanding speakers talking on future directions in schools. And one thing that was great off the, straight off the bat was that uh, we had a lot of verification that we are on track with the learning in our school here at ASD. Another thing that I took away from it is that uh, while we're very goal oriented, it's important to be mindful that uh, being learning oriented is our overarching uh, focus and needs to maintain as be maintained as our overarching focus. And then as a parent, I also thought uh, in that conference that I need to be better about asking my child not what have you done today or what are you doing, but what are you learning.